would be the airport projects. In line with the previous administration's ambitious Build, Build, Build program, 28 airport projects for construction, rehabilitation, and upgrade are listed in the Department of Transportation's priority agenda. Both international and domestic airport projects have already been finished. 15 regional airport projects were on track for expansion and upgrade under the new administration, according to the Department of Transportation. Some are ongoing and some are undergoing project preparation. All the airport projects are under the Department of Transportation except for the Clark International Airport, which was supervised by the Basis Conversion and Development Authority. First is the Clark International Airport New Terminal. Clark International Airport is located inside Clark Freeport Zone in Pampanga and serves as the main gateway to the northern and central Luzon regions. It is accessible via the Subic Clark Tarlac Expressway or the SETEX, which connects the north via Tarlac Pangasinan La Union Expressway or the TPLEX, and Metro Manila and the southern Luzon region via North Luzon Expressway or the NLEX. The 12.5 billion Clark International Airport opened the gates of its new passenger terminal building on May 2 after all departing and arriving flights were transferred to the modern state-of-the-art facility envisioned to be Asia's next premier gateway. The new passenger terminal building of Clark International Airport, which started operations in May 2022, is a four-level building with a total area of 110,000 square meters and can accommodate 8 million passengers annually, providing Filipinos with a transport facility that will help decongest the Ninoy Aquino International Airport in Metro Manila. The new building houses both domestic and international terminals of Clark. Next is the Lingayen Airport Improvement. Lingayen Airport is the airport serving the general area of Lingayen, the capital of the province of Pangasinan. It is one of the two airports in the province, the other being Rosales Airport. It is classified as a community airport by the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. For this 37.8 million project, the focus of the improvement is the asphalt overlay on the airstrip track. The government vowed to invest further in enhancements of facilities to allow the aviation hub to support commercial operations. The plan is to extend the runway from 90 meters to 1.3 kilometers and the width from 30 meters to 40 meters. The project was completed in 2020. Next is Lawag International Airport Improvement. It is the only airport in Ilocos Norte and is the northernmost international airport in the Philippines by geographic location. Following the completion of the airport's powerhouse is the expansion and improvement of the passenger terminal building, expansion of apron, and rehabilitation of its runway, which is under the national government's infrastructure development program. Seven years ago, the Lawag Airport could only accommodate a combined number of 140 international and domestic passengers. But through the joint initiatives and development projects pursued by the Department of Transportation and the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, the Lawag Airport can now serve 200 international passengers and 240 domestic passengers. The 128 million airport improvement helped enhance Ilocos region's connectivity and mobility as it further boosted the province's economic growth, tourism, and socio-economic opportunities. The construction of the administration building started on December 10, 2019 and was completed on December 23, 2020. Next is Vigan Airport Improvement. It is also known as Mindoro Airport, serving the general area of Vigan, the capital of the province of Ilocosur. The airport is the only one located in Ilocosur at Barangay Mindoro and not on the island of Mindoro. It is classified as a community airport by the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. Previously, the airport was considered by the city government as a sleeping asset since no revenue was generated from its operations. Plans were made by the city to expand and modernize the airport, in part to lighten the burden of traveling to Vigan from Manila and other cities and towns by bus, as well as to develop the city's burgeoning tourism industry. On May 25, 2022, the Department of Transportation and the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines inaugurated the completed 79.56 million Vigan Airport Development Project. Part of the renovations and improvements done on the airport was the expansion and rehabilitation of its passenger terminal building, the arrival and pre-departure areas, the construction of the airport's administrative building, a powerhouse and the provision of runway features, provision of water supply storage and parking area which manages the airport. The vegan airport can now accommodate 150 passengers, more than thrice its previous capacity of only 40 passengers. Next is the Tugagaraw Airport Improvement. In 2015, the Department of Transportation launched the expansion and modernization program of the Tagaygaraw Airport. 
This 56 million Togegaro Airport development project consists of 10.67 million for taxiway and runway widening and another 45.99 million for the terminal upgrades. The newly renovated and expanded passenger terminal building at Togegaro Airport was inaugurated on March 14, 2018. This airport serves the city of Tagaygaraw, the capital of the province of Cagayan at the northern tip of Luzon, the country's largest and most populous island. Tagaygaraw Airport, which is located along the Pan-Philippine Highway, also known as the Maharlika Highway, has been classified as a major commercial domestic airport by the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. The enlargement of that terminal at Tagaygaraw Airport was part of a series of upgrades and improvements to help accommodate significantly more aircraft and passengers at the airport. Next is Sangli Point Airport or the Cavite Airport. Sangli Point Airport is an airport at Sangli Point, Cavite City and is currently used for domestic flights. It saw upgrades at the time of the Duterte administration. Improvements were made in the runway and a new terminal building which can serve 160 passengers was constructed. The improved airport Phase 1 started in 2018 and was completed in October 2019. This 515 million project was inaugurated in February 2020. The airport is set to be developed into an international airport. Its proximity to the National Capital Region area will make it a new international gateway to Manila. This will be the third international airport that serves Manila alongside Naiya in Manila and the under construction New Manila Airport in Bulacan. As demand for air travel is expected to increase in the next 30 to 40 years, the province of Cavite has been pushing for the development of the Sangli Point International Airport project as an alternative to the overcrowded Naiya in Pasay City. Next is the New Manila International Airport. The New Manila International Airport project is a game changer for the Philippines, a world-class airport that will be developed in phases with an initial capacity of 35 million passengers annually and a target of 100 million passengers per year once fully completed. Construction on the new airport commenced in 2019 and is expected to be completed in 2027. The New Manila International Airport is being developed in the Bulacan province. Also known as Bulacan International Airport, the project will meet the Philippines' current and future demand for air transport services and help in the country's post-pandemic economic recovery. The government of the Philippines will fully own the new airport, which is being developed with an estimated investment of $735 billion. As the single largest investment in the country to date, it represents a long-term solution to air traffic congestion in the country's capital which has long hindered economic growth and compounded many transportation-related problems. It will provide safe, convenient, reliable, and efficient air transport services in response to the Philippines' urgent need for a new international gateway with sufficient capacity to serve present and future demand. It is positioned to serve Metro Manila as well as its neighboring regions of Central Luzon and the Calabarzon region in Southern Luzon. Next is New Bukidnon Airport. Located in Barangay Maraymaray in Don Carlos Town in the southern part of the province, the airport is one of the flagship projects of the national government in northern Mindanao. The Bukidnon Airport Development Project has a budget of $1.8 billion and is expected to be fully operational by the second quarter of 2026. Concreting of the airport apron and taxiway are so far the latest developments in the construction of the Bukidnon Airport. However, Vertical works of the passenger terminal building are yet to be initiated. This airport will serve the province and neighboring regions, boosting the economic and trade growth of north-central Mindanao. Next is the General Santos International Airport Improvement. The upgraded General Santos Airport can now accommodate up to 2 million passengers annually from the previous ceiling of 800,000. The improvements completed at the airport include the 434.29 million rehabilitation and expansion of a passenger terminal building, the 107.22 million procurement and installation of navigational aids, and the 23.43 million construction of a CAAP administration building with a total project cost of 564 million. The airport serves the provinces of South Cotabato, Cotabato, Sultan Kudarat, Sarangani, and the city of General Santos. Next is the Lagindingan Airport Expansion Project. The Department of Transportation, Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, and the local government of Misamis Oriental broke ground on the 12.75 billion passenger terminal building expansion project on February 4, 2024. Work on the expansion will start this year. With the completion of the innovative expansion project, 
Lagindingan Airport Passenger Terminal Building will increase capacity by 72% to 860 from 500 passengers, addressing congestion at the second busiest airport in Mindanao. Lagindingan Airport serves the cities of Cagayan de Oro, Iligan, and Marawi, as well as the provinces of Misamis Oriental, Bukidnon, and Lanao del Norte. Next is the Zamboanga Airport Improvement. The Department of Transportation and the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines inaugurated in September 2021 the first phase of the 74.6 million Zamboanga International Airport Development Project. Under the project, the airport's passenger terminal building was expanded, allowing it to handle 50% more passengers, 750 from the previous 500. The passenger terminal building's floor area was also expanded with the addition of 691.2 square meters for a total area of 3,456 square meters. In addition, a Malasakit Hall and a Gender and Development Multipurpose Hall were constructed. Next is the Kalbayog Airport New Terminal. The completion of the new airport terminal and runway extension project was delayed in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The 627 million new airport terminal, including the newly extended runway, was finally inaugurated on May 5, 2021, after almost four years of construction. The development of the project included comprehensive landside and airside facilities such as the new passenger terminal building, the airport which can now accommodate jet aircraft operations, an increased terminal capacity of 450 passengers from the previous 76 passenger capacity will now be able to provide convenient and accessible air travel to the people of Eastern Visayas. The recent improvements made to Kalbayog Airport in Samar are seen to contribute to the development and economic revitalization of Eastern Visayas through its role of offloading air traffic from neighboring Tacloban Airport. Next is the Tacloban Airport New Terminal. Named after Daniel Z. Romualdez, a former Speaker of the House of Representatives, the airport serves as the main gateway from Manila and Cebu to Eastern Visayas. It is located in the city of San Jose. DZR Airport will elevate its status from a major domestic airport to an international airport by 2025 with ongoing and future projects lined up to improve the facility of Phase 1 and Phase 2. The building design is inspired by San Juanico Bridge and the city's coastal mountain landscape merged with Taklob Fish Cage. The 1.96 billion terminal project with a capacity of 1,670 passengers, which began on December 5, 2020, was supposed to be completed on May 29, 2022. Tacloban Airport is expected to be completed this year after some construction delays. In 2022, the airport served 1.48 million inbound and outbound passengers, making it the seventh busiest in the country. Next is the Sigihor Airport Improvement. The newly upgraded Airport of Sikihor helped boost employment, economic growth, and trade in the central Visayas. The 34.79 million construction project was finished on July 30, 2021 and was later inaugurated on August 26. The airport upgrade project covered the construction of a new passenger terminal building, a powerhouse, and a vehicle parking area. It expanded the capacity of the old airport to 50 from 10. Other upgrade works in the airport, including the runway extension and asphalt overlay, was completed in June 2022. Next is Mactan Cebu International Airport New Terminal. The Mactan Cebu International Airport is the gateway to Central Visayas and parts of Negros Oriental. It is located in Lapu-Lapu City on Mactan Island in the island province of Cebu. It is the perfect jump-off point if you plan to visit the provinces of Cebu, Bohol, Sikihor, and the Maguete City in Negros Oriental that are known for their beaches and islands, diving spots, and nature attractions. The 17.52 billion new terminal building development was inaugurated in June 2018. Terminal 2 is the newest airport terminal and has an annual capacity of 8 million passengers, increasing the airport's capacity to 12.5 million passengers per year. This new terminal building is helping the city of Cebu position itself as a domestic and international tourism hub. Next is the Dumaguete Cebulan Airport Improvement. The 252 million newly rehabilitated airport was completed in 2021. Major upgrades and renovations at the airport helped boost trade and tourism in the province of Negros Oriental and paved the way for a faster economic recovery in the region. Improvements at the airport include the expansion of existing passenger terminal and construction of two taxiways, 
as well as reblocking of apron, overlaying of asphalt on the runway, and shoulder grade correction. The improvements upgraded the airport's capability to accommodate heavier aircraft and increased the terminal's passenger capacity from 330 to 450. Next is the Bohol Panglao International Airport development. Bohol Panglao International Airport is the first eco friendly airport constructed on Panglao Island, Bohol Province. The 8.9 billion facility replaced the existing Tagbilaran Airport, the country's 11th busiest airport. Construction was completed in November 2018 and the Bohol Airport began operations in the same month. The Panglao Airport is a greenfield construction and is 10 times bigger than the Tagbilaran Airport. Tagbilaran Airport was built on an area of 850 square meters and handles approximately 800,000 passengers a year, whereas the new Panglao International Airport can manage 2 million passengers a year. As a eco airport, the facility is designed with environmentally friendly elements and green technology in mind and it meets the highest international standards. Next is the Antique Airport Improvement. The newly improved Antique Airport started its operations in December 2018. The airport stopped commercial operations for several years and was used only by private planes until the government decided to reopen it in December. Prior to reopening, many Antiqueños had to fly in and out via the airports of neighboring Aklan or Iloilo. The airport has been improved at a budget of $40 million. Part of enhancing the capabilities of Antique Airport is the improvement on the runway and terminal facilities. The runway was extended to 1.4 kilometers to serve commercial aircraft operations. The airport upgrade aims to deliver to the people of Antique the service and facility that they have long been yearning for. Next is the Calibo Airport Improvement. The newly restored Calibo International Airport in Calibo Aklan is expected to greet millions of passengers and tourists following the completion of the Gateway's 48.4 million development project in 2021. The development project covered the 19.5 million improvement of the International Passenger Terminal that was completed in September 2020, the 9.9 .9 million reblocking of the apron pavement finished in August in the same year, and the 18.9 million overall repair and restoration of the passenger terminal building, aircraft rescue and firefighting, shed and administration building completed in 2021. The International Passenger Terminal Building was expanded from its previous area of 1,584 square meters to 2,633 square meters, increasing the building capacity from 344 to 406 passengers. The overall repair and restoration of the Kalibu International Airport has improved and restored the airport's look as a whole. Next is the San Vicente Airport. The new 62.7 million regional airport in the rising tourism hub of San Vicente Town was inaugurated in 2018 and helped boost development not only in the area but also other parts of northern Palawan. Located west of the former Inundeng airstrip, the San Vicente Airport serves the country's first flagship tourism enterprise zone along a 14-kilometer long beach facing the Imuruan Bay of the South China Sea. It's designed to promote and support the vibrant tourism scene in town. The airport features a passenger terminal that can accommodate 100 passengers, a fire station building, and an elevated 2,500 U.S. gallon water tank facility. Its concrete runway measures 1,612 meters or 5,288 feet long and 45 meters or 148 feet wide. Next is the Bicol International Airport. Bicol International Airport in the Raga Town, Albay Province is the first international airport south of Metro Manila was inaugurated in 2021. Dubbed as the most scenic gateway in the Philippines, Bicol International Airport has the backdrop of the beautiful Mayon Volcano. The aviation hub in the Raga Albay is designed to serve 2 million passengers a year. The 5 billion project involved the construction of runway extension, passenger terminal building, and landside facilities. Next is the Puerto Princesa International Airport New Terminal. Operations at the new terminal of the Puerto Princesa International Airport began following the inauguration of the 4.5 billion facility in 2017. Part of the improvements in the Palawan Airport is the new terminal, which is a floor area of 13,000 square meters and a seating capacity of 1,500. Meanwhile, the improved parking space has slots for over 200 cars. To accommodate bigger and more aircraft, 
the government built a 2,600-meter runway and six parking bays. The new terminal replaced the 3,000 square meter or 32,000 square feet old passenger terminal with an annual capacity of 350,000 passengers and an apron with four parking bays. In 2019, the terminal was equipped with free Wi-Fi for all travelers. Next is the Shargao Airport Rehabilitation. The Shargao Airport Development Project broke ground in 2022, the same day that the rehabilitated sections of the airport were inaugurated. The airport was severely damaged at the height of Typhoon Odette, the strongest typhoon to hit the country in 2021. The development project includes improvement of the passenger terminal building, powerhouse, perimeter fence, vehicle parking area, administration building, two-bay fire station building, and expansion of apron. Upon completion, the gateway to the surfing capital was able to accommodate more passengers, provide wider connectivity and mobility, and help propel progress in the economy, tourism, and commerce, which benefit the people of Surigao del Norte. Next is the Surigao Airport Improvement. The rehabilitated Surigao Airport was inaugurated in June 2022 with a total project cost of $80.8 million. The airport suffered major damages when a magnitude 6.7 earthquake hit Surigao City in February 2017 and during the onslaught of Typhoon Odette in December 2021. The improvements include an expanded runway, renovated passenger terminal building, and the establishment of the airport's aerodrome rescue and firefighting building. A total of 60.8 million budget was incurred for the expansion and repair of the runway. The rehabilitation of the passenger terminal and the establishment of the rescue and firefighting building have a total cost of 20 million. The airport's expanded runway now has a total length of 1,400 meters, while improvements at the passenger terminal include the provision of additional restrooms, installation of toilet fixtures, and the installation of nine air conditioning units. After the two major calamities that heavily damaged the airport, it is now ready to serve the people of Surigao. Next is the Davao International Airport Improvement. The terminal building of the airport, also known as the Francisco Bangoy International Airport, has been undergoing improvements, particularly in the passenger terminal building, since March 2022 with a budget of $46.98 million. It is expected to be completed by June 2023. Davao International Airport's terminal building will be expanded at a cost of $700 million, with construction work targeted to start last year. The proposed expansion is expected to be completed in 2025. The Department of Transportation implemented the renovation project earlier but it is not clear as to when it will be completed. The Davao International Airport is one of the country's busiest, catering to 251 domestic and 11 international flights weekly. It is the busiest gateway in Mindanao. With the influx of travelers transiting in the airport, the completion of these development projects are expected to allow the airport to serve and accommodate more passengers. And lastly, the Naiya Rehabilitation. Given that it's the main gateway to Metro Manila, the 170.6 billion Ninoy Aquino International Airport Rehabilitation Project is among the priority projects in the BBB or BBM program. On February 16, 2024, the MIAA Board awarded the contract for the project to the SMC SAC Consortium, which submitted the highest bid amount and is sharing 82.16% of future gross revenues with the government, passenger service charges not included. The 15-year contract involves the rehabilitation, expansion, and operation of NAIA to address long-standing capacity issues. The project aims to increase NAIA's annual capacity to at least 62 million passengers from 35 million and enhance air traffic movement from 40 to 48 per hour. Once the concessionaire has taken over operations, the public should expect improve improvements by 2025. Key performance indicators include shorter and more predictable waiting time at the check-in and immigration counters, availability in parking, improved security checks, availability of seats, time it takes for the baggage to be transferred from the aircraft belly to the conveyor belts, reliable operating escalators, and passenger boarding bridges, among others. The project is ex expected to generate around $900 billion or $36 billion per year of revenue for the national government in the course of the full 25 years of the concession. 
This is inclusive of the concessionaire's 30% billion upfront payment, fixed annuity payment of 2 billion annually, and 82.16% government share. The development of these airport projects can have significant impacts on the real estate industry and the economy. One is increased demand for commercial and residential properties. Next is rise in property values, expansion of infrastructure and transportation networks, stimulus for tourism and hospitality sectors, creation of employment opportunities, facilitation of trade and investment, and infrastructure-led development. Overall, the development of these airport projects can have far-reaching positive impacts on the real estate industry and the economy, driving growth, investment, and prosperity in the regions they serve.